Hello again and welcome to another tips and tricks video here from Switch. My name is Cam and for this particular video, I'd like to share with you a very cool application built in into every Apple computer. It's called Photobooth. Photobooth allows you to take cool features and photos of uh, situations like maybe going to a nice hall of mirrors where you have all those weird images coming out from your reflection. You can do that all in the Mac. Photobooth also allows you to do some cool effects. Instead of talking about it, let me show you. Let's get started. Welcome to my desktop running macOS Sierra 10.12. As with all my previous video, I'll be using a couple of teaching aids. From time to time, when I click my mouse, you'll see feedback on the screen showing you what I am clicking. Also, you can see me zooming in and zooming out on the screen to focus your attention on certain parts of the interface during this tips and tricks video. So let's talk about Photobooth. Where do you find Photobooth? It's actually quite simple. The easiest way, click on Spotlight and type Photobooth. So when you search on Photos, select Photobooth. Just in case you want to find out where exactly the Photobooth application is located, it's actually quite simple. You just click on your Applications folder and in Applications folder, alphabetically look for the Photobooth. So having said that, this is Photobooth. It's intended for you to take photos. So if I click on this uh, red button, you'll take a photo of me. So once you take a photo of me, you can see that it appears here and you can use this in any project or files that you want. Having said that, it's not only limited to photos, you can record video. So if I record a video here, three, two, one, you can see that it is recording a video and I can play back this video. So I'm going to stop this and you can see that there's a mark here for a video. Now, notice this is now option here. This is to capture four images, four images. Let me show you. Three, two, one. So you get to see uh, you know, a four up of all the images. Very cool, right? That's not all. Let me click on effects at the lower right corner here and in effects you can see that i can go back into the what do you call the mirror the halls of mirror in fun fest back then you can use the hall of mirror you can see that there's a lot of very funny effect i can be a chipmunk even though i'm not a chipmunk technically i am a chipmunk right now in this video oh i can change the effect let's see i'm love struck so if i put that you can see that it detects my hate and it puts uh, all the hearts around it of course, I can change it again, and this is lots more. Let me just click around it. Maybe you want an X-ray mode, maybe you want thermal camera a la Predator. For those who are not familiar with the Predator movie series, go check it out. And uh, in effects, comic book, black and white, plastic camera, so on and so forth. Bulge, dent, mirror, stretch. Oh, stretch is nice. I have a nice neck. And of course, uh, having fun over there is a very unproductive time waster, we got something here called green screen effects. I'm not sure if you're aware, a lot of movies nowadays we use computer generated graphics. It sounds like it's very complicated, but with Photobooth, you can do that. And I want to show you that by going to Paris. And I want to click on the Eiffel Tower here, and I better get out of the way. So I'll get out of the way. And I'm going to come back right in. It's not perfect because my background is not purely of the same flat color, but you get the idea that you can actually fit in yourself into a background, in this case, the Eiffel Tower. So if your background is purely green, perhaps, or the same color, same lighting, you can actually have this kind of green skin effect. And it works not only just for Eiffel Tower, I could go on the roller coaster like, oh, you know, have fun with it, have fun with it. Remember, it's a video over there. And uh, you can go things like, uh, I'm now in Yosemite National Park looking at the nice waterfall. Maybe I just drink the water. Uh, you can have this kind of fun in this video. But here's the cool part as well. You can actually use your own backdrops. So because of this, I can actually find other backdrops. Maybe I'll throw in, I mean, what other photo? Okay, fine. Let me just throw myself into it. Uh, put that in. So I'm with myself. So in fact, you can actually drag other photos into it as well. Let me just change it, go to effects, uh, add another backdrop. Maybe I find other photos that's available. Let's see, maybe go to documents. Oh, there's a, quite a number of documents here. Maybe go to pictures. 
you know, anything that you might have. Find the photo you want, drag it into it. It could be a video, it could be anything. And you can use Photobooth to do all those funny and fun effects. So hopefully you learn a bit more about Photobooth. Yeah, it's really fun too. If your children can have fun in it. And this is the Mac version of Photobooth. So uh, check it out. Try it out inside a Mac. Support us on social media if you like this video. Uh, subscribe, like us on YouTube, Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And uh, leave us your comments. Uh, let us know what you like, what you don't like, any suggestions, what kind of video or tips and tricks that you want us to share to you. And I hope th that you learned something in this particular video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. My name is Kent from Switch. Bye.